Hey guys, welcome back. It's Alma. I just popped on real quick just to show you um, uh, Mary Maxim unboxing. I got my knit and crochet club today, so I just wanted to share that with you all. You know, um, welcome. Thank you for stopping by, all my friends, for just hanging out with me for a few minutes while I do this quick unboxing. You know, I have on my crescent shawl that I finished as the Annie's. Um, crochet design. I still got some ends to weave in, but it's all right. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> then this, if you want to see the full reveal of this uh, finished object, it's in one of my videos a little ways back. Feel free to um, peruse the uh, videos to see the uh, full uh, expansion of the shawl as I show as a finished object. All right. Um, speaking of that too, you know, there's a, a video that I have there. I think it's uh, it's a part one and a part two. So um, it's a little lopsided. You know, a lot of people are watching part one, but not a lot of views for part two. So I would ask you guys to uh, just take the time to go back and look at part two because there's a lot of uh, content on part two as well, just to even out the views on those videos as well. It's the one that has the gnome um, picture, the gnome what do they call that picture? Whatever the picture is called. So I'd appreciate if, if you guys would go back and just look at part two of that um, video as well. Just to even out, again, the views. It's a little lopsided right now. <clears throat> again, my name is Elma. And this is Hooks Up Needles Ready Yarn. And on this podcast here, I attack the yarn with my hook and my needles. <laughs> it's a crochet and knitting podcast. You can find me on the internet at uh, Ravelry, as well as on Instagram as Dark and Lovely. That's D-R-K-N-L-U-V-L-I. And you can also find me right here, where you all are now on YouTube. Hooks up, needles ready, yarn. All right. Um, so without any further ado, we're going to open up the Mary Maxim Club. I'm not sure which one this is, and I haven't opened it as yet. So it's fully sealed. You and me both will be pleasantly surprised, okay? I don't apologize for crinkling, because crinkling means that something new is in the pot. <laughs> and who don't like that, all right? Oh, okay, so this now is the knitting, um, the knitting project, okay? So it is a Summer Breeze top. Uh, here we go, Summer Breeze top, all right? It looks like like a shell, you know, and it is made with some cotton yarn. What yarn is that? Let's see. <coughs> oh, this is a, oh, okay. I remember this yarn. This is some flicker yarn. Y'all remember flicker? Flicker yarn. Mm -hmm. I actually like those colors too. And this color is called Toucan. Can you see? It's like some oranges, oranges, some hot pinks, some light browns. I see some dark grays in there as well. And this is a size three. Size three yarn is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. All right. And again, this is a shell. <coughs> it looks like this is look like it's a shell. That's all. And it's just a large lace pattern um, shell just to put over. Because obviously, you need something underneath that. Don't just go around with all your bits <laughs> exposed through the mesh, you know. So obviously, this is going to go over a tank top or something, okay? And isn't that cute? I like it. Not sure if I will actually make this, though. Um, but I like it. It's cute, okay? So that's um, the knitting club. That's a knitting pattern. All right. And that is flicker yarn once again. Okay. Definitely could find something to make with that yarn, even if I don't make this particular pattern. Okay. And um, in case y'all are questioning why I have on a shawl, <clears throat> again, it's a crescent shawl that is an Annie's pattern. It's a paid for pattern. And I have it on because I have on one of my uh, work tops, so I just want to um, hide my work logo. All right. 
I'm just getting ready to go wash the dishes real quick and go get my kids from school. So I just want to not have to worry about changing and doing all this stuff. Okay. I was in a meeting today primarily. It's my first day back at work and the bulk of the day was primarily meeting. So just so that I don't have to go hunt new clothes to put on to go pick up the kids from school. I'm hanging out in my work stuff. <laughs> and then I'll go get my kids. All right, but I want to pop on real quick to do this. All right, so that was the knitting um, club. So this now is the crochet club. Ooh, the crochet club <coughs> is some scrubby yarn. Look at that. It's scrubby, scrubby set. So we're making, it looks like some granny square dishcloths is what I'm seeing, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what this is here. And this is some Red Heart Scrubby Cotton. Red Heart Scrubby Cotton. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this color right here is called Loofah. It actually looks like a loofah, right? And this is what? One ball. It's a four medium weight yarn. And it is 145 yards of... I would say polyester also, if I could find it. I don't know why it's always, you're, you're just spinning and spinning and can't find what the yarn is. Oh, so it's 100% cotton, excuse me. I thought it was polyester, because it feels a little softer than cotton. So it's a scrubby cotton. <laughs> it say it on the label, Elma, hello. Okay. <laughs> so it's 100% cotton, and it's a four medium weight. And it comes in denim. This is called a denim. All right. And we also have this green, which is called jade. And the last color is, what is this called? Tan. Can you see? Okay, that's tan. All right. Tan. And so we got two balls of the loofah. So two balls of the cream colored um, scrubby yarn. I'm trying to stop making this um, glare. Okay. So it's two colors, two of the loofah colors. And then we have green, tan, and the blue <coughs> yarn. All right. And let's see. Because I've been wanting to make some um, crochet disc cloths and stuff also. So this is a scrubby set again. So far they're showing the granny square washcloths and I see a, like a hand thing and the rounds, the scrubby rounds. Let's see what they call. We'll give them a proper name. Why not? Right? Let's see. So we have a corner to corner disc cloth. That's number one. Then they have a heart shape, oh, a heart shape granny scrubby. That's cute. A heart shape granny scrubby. Heart shape granny scrubby. That's cute. And we have a handy palm scrubby. Handy palm scrubby. Okay. I would think that these are. <clears throat> Since they're yarn inspiration patterns, I would think that they are definitely free patterns. If you go to the yarn inspiration website, I would not um, believe otherwise. Uh, the granny square pattern seems to be, this pattern in particular, seems to be a Mary Maxim pattern. Because I'm not seeing yarn inspiration anywhere on here. So it seems like the, oh, they're calling it a hot pad. So the Granny Square hot pad is, seems like it's a Mary Maxim um, pattern, as well as the, the scrubby that is there. So these two patterns here on the front, they're calling this a hot pad. And the scrubby, both of those are basically Mary Maxim patterns. Okay. And was it Kim the Crafty Nomad?
that made some scrubbies or something with this uh, yarn. Somebody had made some scrubby or something with this yarn that was, um, like they said, it was good to scrub the dishes and, and all of that. So I was interested in trying to see if that's so because <clears throat> I've made dish, dish cloths and washcloths with the regular cotton, Lily, uh, Lily Sugars and Cream cotton, but I've never made with this particular type of yarn. And I think I actually have another type of scrubby yarn from Hobby Lobby that I never used as yet either to uh, make any uh, scrubbies or dishcloths. So that would inspire me to do that. All right. So <clears throat> that's it, guys. <laughs> oh, let me show you real quick. I had I, I cast it on <laughs> the Lizzie blanket um, last night because I couldn't sleep. And I don't know if y'all like me, when you can't sleep, you just uh, find something to do. All right, so, so far, this is my first uh, row of repeat. So this is my interpretation of the Lizzie blanket because I did not buy the yarn pack, but I did buy some colors that I did not have. So this is primarily all, um, it's all acrylic. I think the bulk of it is, it goes between Karen and Red Heart and um, whatever um, Milan yarns I had already and some loops and threads as well. So I have all the colors I believe and so far I'm working on my second repeat round. Okay, so I went from one to five. I think one to five. One, three, one, that's three, four, five at this blue and then this is the second this start this is the third row of the second repeat so there's five you have to do a total of six repeats because you have the first one and then you have to do it five more times all right so this is where i am so far <laughs> what am i doing i don't know do i need more whips not a one not a one what am i doing i don't know but it's all right i'm enjoying it i liked it last night when i worked it up it worked up pretty quick i would put on a book on audio do you guys listen to audiobooks? If you do listen to audiobooks, please tell me uh, your favorite audiobook and let me know su uh, any suggestions that you guys would have for audiobooks because I find that um, audiobooks and um, knitting and crocheting goes together perfectly. You know, it's like a perfect combination. So if any suggestions on any books that I should give a listen to, please, I um, ask you to kindly... Uh, put that down in the suggestion box. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay. And again, this is just a quick one Just popping in to say hey and also just to show you guys the knit and crochet um, Club from Mary Maxim. So I hope that you guys are having a blessed day Be safe out there and don't forget to just love one another because when you love one another You show the love of God because God is love. All right. Take care and I'll see you guys on another podcast. All right. Bye friends. Get home safe. Take care. <laughs>